Hi, it's M, the beginner crafter, and uh, I'd like to show you some crochet and crafts related things I did in the last two weeks. And uh, maybe let's start with crafts. <clears throat> so first, uh, the craft pods. A teeny tiny thing uh, from autumn 2019. Uh, this is a brooch. A brooch <laughs> um, of a leaf, an oak leaf, I think. Um, to make it 100% finished, I would have to cut um, very, very close to um, the actual leaf itself. I was scared to do that so far um, because um, I'm not the greatest at being precise when cutting things and I'm afraid I will actually cut into the wire and the threads here. That's why I decided to just uh, cut it out in more or less an oval shape. Um, and when I decide to make it 100%, I'll just really cut it out. So that's what it looks like so far. It's really beautiful. I like it the way it is, even though it's not the shape. Um, and I might just leave it at lo like that. But it's really pretty um, thing. So it's about this size, not too big. Um, I think I did make it bigger than it was originally. I think I did photocopy uh, the pattern uh, and uh, made it bigger, basically. I think 110, maybe 120% of the size. Um, so I think originally it was smaller, so it's not something that really um, overpowers anything or would overpower anything. Uh, but if you like big, brooches or brooches, you could make it into a, a, a really big one because there was enough felt, there was enough wire, there was enough thread. So definitely you could do that if you wanted, of course. So this is what I have. And the second project from the autumn of 2019 was the tote bag. And it is finished. Ta-da! Here is the ta-da moment. It is done. Every part is embroidered. Yes, there could be some improvement. Of course, I should um, probably wash it to um, get rid of those pencil marks that you can still see. Um, I think I could uh, do another layer of thread in some places where you can see a lot of white. Oh, actually, no. Okay, I forgot. <laughs> Sorry. There are two spots that are not 100% finished. And uh, it's this one, the tomato. It's just that my green uh, thread finished and I didn't want to cut a new one. And the yellow here because it also finished. And I decided to uh, finish that those details when um, I use that color thread and I have a little bit left um, and then just finish that just because I didn't want to uh, thread needle for such a small piece uh, of a thread so okay it's 99.9 percent .9 finished um, what I could also do is have this done also on the other side of the tote bag. I could embroider some more things as well, although it wasn't in the original design. I just could add things either on this side or on that side. Uh, but per the design, it's basically done. And I really uh, enjoyed embroidering it. It was um, fun, 
it was tiring because um especially with those flowers uh it needed some force to get through uh the fabric so many times in the same spot there was just so much thread that it was very difficult to push the needle through um i did um pinch no it's not pinch uh i did stab myself with the needle a lot of times while embroidering this um tote bag but it was well worth it it's really beautiful intricate design so um i'm very happy i did that and i finished that of course then it will need to be ironed and so on but i really like it and it's basically ready for autumn to do shopping with it so a project finished another one <clears throat> sorry another project finished just really small tweaks here and there um but i don't think people will notice if i ever go shopping like that um so yay the craft pod of autumn 2019 is done so let's go pack it Okay, the next one uh, is Craft Pod uh, of Spring 2020. Not winter, unfortunately, I still don't have it. Uh, but uh, Spring of 2020. And I started with the keyring. And it's done already. It, it was a really quick thing to do. I'll just let me get the needle out. It was a really quick thing to do. Um... And fun, I have to say. I didn't expect it to be so much fun. Um, and this is the way it looks. There's just, you know, a piece of felt with another piece of felt. A bit of embroidery. Um, there is some felt. Is it felt? I think it is felt. <laughs> Inside to make it fluffy. Um, and then velvet here and the ring and there it goes you have your own handmade keyring and it's cute i really like the way it looks it's just super fun and, and nice and sweet and cute so i'm really glad i did that i'm really happy to have it done and the next will be um i showed you last time this serene spring embroidery um it's thick because it explains a lot how to start it um, at first because um there is i think something uh that's uh water soluble um the paper that you use to help you outline things first so there's a bit of ironing, a bit of sticking stuff, correct side up or down. Um, that's why it's just a lot of explaining how to do things. Uh, but I think once it gets to the actual um, embroidery part, um, then it's not such a complicated thing. I think those baskets are a bit more com uh, complicated because um, they are actually weaved. So that's something fun to learn, how to weave embroidery uh, things. And probably those fans as well. Oh, that's just one fan, but that's, that's here. And a lot of French knots, which I, which I need to practice because I'm not good at French knotting. Um, so yay. This will be fun and this will probably take uh, some time, mostly because it just needs a lot of preparing with this water-soluble thing, then drying it, ironing, ironing it, so um, it, you know, looks serene, but probably <laughs> making it won't be so serene looking. But um, I'm looking, I'm really looking forward to doing it. And the Summer Craft Pod is... Um, Fantastic, because it, there are a lot of colours, uh, like rainbow colours, so um, I, I'm quite uh, looking forward to finishing it so that I can move to the summer one, um, also because then I will be more or less like on time with things, 
Um, I will just have to remember to let the company know that I still need my winter craft pod. So then, yeah, I'll have to do the winter one as well before I can start the autumn one. I hope that makes sense. Uh, okay. So that's uh, craft pods done. So a bit of crochet now. Uh, so first the meadow bag. This is how far I've got. Um, maybe not super fantastic improvement from the last um, two weeks the last time we saw each other um but i'm moving forward <laughs> i'm over 30 rows now so definitely over half of the bag um i did finish in this pot i think on wednesday and I decided not to continue for the few days before recording it, just because it was easier as um, the yarn ball finished. It's the third blue that I finished. Uh, so, yeah, I'm definitely over a half. No, sorry, it's the second blue that I finished. Um, the second blue that I finished. Um, I'm over the half uh, because um, obviously I still have to do the cord and it's also in blue and there were five uh, blue balls that you needed mm, so uh, it's just easier to show when it's just one ball of yarn attached and it's not super mm, tangled in here um, it is big enough to fit like almost my full hand or even my full hand um, my mobile phone will fit in it as well <laughs> so it is uh, quite tall right now um, there still needs to be at least one of those and I don't really like doing those because there are eight st stitches in one place it's just a lot of yarn um, uh, but it is a nice pop of color so it's uh, nice to have it. I mean, you could do it in green as well, only you could do the whole uh, bag in one color. It will still, it would still make sense and it would still look um, pretty, but I like it the way it is. I like it in those uh, colors and it's not the problem of color here. It's the problem of how you make the stitch. Um, the last few rows were a bit easier than before because before there were um, rows where it took really really long time to get through everything but the last few rows were like really um, going uh, pretty fast uh, weren't as complicated as others so uh, I managed to move forward a little bit and then I had a pause because of the um, end of the yarn so this this is um, quite a lot of it done uh, probably when I finish this row because I'm in half row more or less um, there will be another bubble like that because that's sort of how it goes here yeah so yeah another pop off color I hope to finish the bag before the holidays finish um, so this is the uh, meadow bag okay and the last project I did was um, let me show you um, yeah, such a pouch for a lot of uh, things. So this is what it looks like uh, right now. Uh, I will have to weave in the ends, of course. But the last thing basically is I need to sew those things together, those sides. 
and I need to make um, a cord again to be able to like wrap everything uh, together and that's it and then I will be able to do another project from this box possibly the CAT uh, because uh, as you can see I haven't used uh, too much white here it's just this part and this project uses more white than blue uh, although I, have to, I do have to say there's still quite a lot of this blue uh, in the bowl. I mean, it it's kind of empty-ish inside because I usually uh, take the yarn from the inside. So, uh, it is, you know, <laughs> there's a lot of space in there right now, but it's still quite a lot of yarn left. Um, so, definitely you can make at least two projects um, from the booklets. They usually show three. And in this one it's the CAT, this pouch and also slippers. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure that I would be able to make all three with this yarn, but I remember the first time I got the Crochet Society box, I was wondering whether I would have enough yarn to do everything, so I decided to choose just one project. I did have some yarn left. Um, I remember I started doing a Hope Motif Square by Tina. I never really finished it. Um, but the project that I did then was a bit of um, yarn eater, especially the white one. So there isn't too much white left there. And I think the, the ball was smaller than this one. But you, you should be able to, I think with every box, you should be able to do at least two projects from the booklet, possibly three. Um, so all of them, but uh, definitely at least one. And while doing this, uh, I also used um, this row counter from box 12, if I remember correctly. And it works well. It is quite heavy. I was worried that it would drag the fabric down because of its weight, but it doesn't. I mean, you feel the weight. Yes, um, but it doesn't do anything. I guess I should maybe take it off to see if it made any holes. Uh, but it doesn't look like it. Like, Can you see where it actually was? And maybe here, because there is some kind of hole. But no, not really. So um, if that's something that you would worry about, no, there's nothing to worry about. It doesn't do anything. It is heavy. Sometimes it may be a bit uh, uncomfortable, I guess, because of the weight, but um, it doesn't cause any trouble, really. Um, it takes some time getting used to how to and which way to move things, because I think when it comes to units, you need to yeah, turn it sort of anti-clockwise to move up oh here too it just <laughs> had different yeah I, I don't know why I thought that the these go the, the, the other way around but you turn both anti-clockwise <laughs> but you know <laughs> um so yeah and it's pretty it is really pretty uh, as far as I know, this is box six. Yeah, so I still have a lot to do. Although it shouldn't be box six. I don't think I have, I have so many boxes. <laughs> um, the newest one is box 13. And um, there were quite a few things that I liked here in this box 13. Uh, but it, that there was something a little unexpected. Like this, for example. 
a mug but it's kind of pretty and it just buzz off uh, so that's fun and uh, there, there are yarn bobbins that's cool <laughs> uh, I think one of the projects requires you to use yarn bobbins so that's really something out there I mean it's, it's something new and I think it's a pump on maker but to be honest um or maybe a yarn wider um I didn't look very closely into the booklet but I think I I didn't see what it actually was <laughs> so that's a surprise I think uh, but these are really nice uh things to get and of course there's a, a stitch marker with a B and the yarn is um fluffy like hairy um so I don't know um, if it will be nice to wear things made out of it if you are um if your skin is sensitive to things like that uh, but it will be something really interesting to uh, make. It's 25% alpaca, so something new. And uh, yeah, I'm glad they use a lot of those Bella Coco um, brand uh, yarns because it's uh, the Crochet Society boxes are made by, by Bella Coco. Uh, so that's... Nice to see that they promote their brand. Of course, they use some other brands as well. It's not just Bella Coco, so you you get to try uh, a few yarns like that. So yeah, that's that's it. And I got an email that box number fourteen is already being prepared, um, and it will get here soon. Sorry, you need to. Uh, step it up with my crochet society boxes <laughs> because I'm I'm way behind. That's why I was so shocked to think that it's it's um, box six. But I really remember that I looked for the information and it was something like box six uh, here. Um, so box six, box seven. Although I might have oh. Maybe it's because I did box seven first, and that's why I have such trouble. Let's say, um, okay, I don't have diamond painting this time because I uh, just didn't have too many possibilities to work on it, and I didn't really work on my bullet journal because I'm switching into a happy planner. Uh, but this happy planner hasn't reached me yet uh, because pff, actually it will be coming here from Spain. Um, in theory, the website is in my language. Uh, I remember I I did send an email to ask about something and they answered me in my own language and and the person who signed it looked like he was my nationality. But when I paid for the order um it turned out that it's it's not a bank in my country and they will be sending it from spain and they said it it should be in 10 to i think 14 business days so i'll have to wait uh to move into the planner uh, it starts from june it's an 18 month a planner so it's uh, sorry it starts in July of 2020 so basically this month will not be used because I think it will get here in August um, I probably won't use August too much because I have space in my bullet journal for that anyway um, and actually it will be more needed from September anyway um, I don't really know what to expect yet because um, the pictures that I saw or movies on YouTube that I saw 
only showed like a monthly spread and a weekly spread. Um, and basically that's it. And I'm wondering if, if that's really all that is inside. I mean, of course, I know that there are those dividers as well. Um, but I wonder if maybe there, there is something else in the planner itself to, to take notes in. I'll see. I did add some more things because it's more like a stationary haul for <laughs> the beginning of the new school year. But we'll see how much uh, really is inside the Happy Planner. Um, and I guess when I get it, I'll do the unboxing um, and then I'll, I'll show you, I'll tell you how I feel about the planner. <laughs> but it w will be definitely at least in two weeks time because um, they still haven't sent it out to me. Um, at least I didn't get any notification they, they have. Um, and next week it's uh, floss tube week, so even if I get it somehow within the next few days, um, it won't be the time for it. So, uh, yeah, you'll have to week. I you'll have to wait either in two weeks' time or in a month. I'll show you the the unboxing and how I feel about the planner and what I plan to do with it. So, yeah. Okay, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. It's always appreciated. Uh, subscribe to the video, to the channel, if you want to see my progress. And uh, see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!